Welcome to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today we're checking out some amazing aircraft that you can buy in place of a jet. These are all turboprop airplanes that are propeller driven. Chances are if you can afford any of these airplanes, you can also afford to buy a jet. Now, why would you want a turboprop in place of a jet? One reason, the operating costs. The cost to operate a jet, even a light jet, is significantly higher than the cost to operate a turboprop airplane for similar capabilities and performance. So without further ado, the first plane we're looking at is the Epic E-1000. The Epic E-1000 is a fairly new turboprop airplane and it's had its fair of challenges over the years. But the great news is this airplane is finally certified and you can get your hands on one. Epic E-1000 uses a single Pratt & Whitney turboshaft engine. This propels the airplane to climb at over 4,000 feet a minute. And you have a max ceiling of 34,000 feet. Now you get up in altitude and this thing will move over 300 knots in cruise speed. And the Epic E-1000 can sit up to six people. Your maximum range is at 1,800 miles. That means you can fly from New York to Texas at one go. The fuel capacity in the Epic E-1000 is 288 gallons and expect your hourly operating costs between $550 and $600 an hour. That's still significantly lower to your average light jet that costs $2,000 an hour to operate. The Epic E-1000 has so many things to love about it. Now it will cost you a pretty penny to get your hands on one. The base price for this plane 3.2 million dollars. Next we have the Pilatus PC-12, arguably the best turboprop airplane in its class or the best turboprop airplane ever built. The PC-12 have won a lot of hearts since it's been introduced and for good reason. This aircraft can carry up to 10 and go 1800 miles. Now the Pilatus PC-12 is not the fastest in its class. You get up to altitude and you're cruising around 250 knots on average. That's still close to 300 miles per hour and absolutely nothing to sneeze at. Where the Pilatus shines is in its capabilities. Unlike any other airplanes in this class or this category, the PC-12 can land on just about any runway. Paved, grassy fields, unpaved, you can land the PC-12 on over 2,000 runways around the world. Consider the PC-12 the stove brand in its class. Amazing short takeoff and short landing capabilities. One of the great features in the PC-12 also is the giant door it has behind it. What this means is if you're flying a lot of cargo around, you have easy access to get your goods in and get them out. Even with full fuel, you can still fit over 2,000 pounds of people and load in this airplane. And your maximum altitude is 30,000 feet. Pilatus PC-12 is great, but it also costs you more than some of the average jets you have in the market. The average price for a brand new PC-12 is over $5 million. You can find them used for about half that price. Next we have the TBM 940 from French manufacturer Dyer. The 940 comes from a long line of fast turboprops. The first TBM model ever introduced was the 700 and the model 700 flew for many many years during the 90s and starting with the new decade we have the model 940. Now TBM have always claimed to be the fastest in its class, single engine turboprop. But with the new introduction of the Epic E-1000, I beg to differ because the Epic E-1000 can go just as fast. The TBM 940 will carry six people comfortably. Your cruise speed expect between 300 and 320 knots. And once you fill up those tanks, you can go really far. This airplane will fly 1900 miles nonstop. Some cool new technology you'll find in the TBM 940, the auto throttle. This is a great system that automates the engine power control and monitoring. Also currently being tested in the TBMs is the new Garmin Auto Land System. An amazing safety system that will land the airplane for you should in case something happens to the pilot. The TBM 940 also has the big giant door just like you have in the PC-12. 
But when you're comparing this to the PC-12 has more room, has better capabilities, but if you want to go faster and further, the TBM940 is the better choice. Cost-wise, a brand new TBM940 will run you about $4.2 million. Next on the list is the Lancer Evolution, now known as Evolution Aircraft. This is the only experimental airplane on this list. And we're adding it because it can compete with any of the airplanes listed so far. The Lancer Evolution is a four-seater, turbine-powered, cruise speeds at over 300 knots, and with full tanks, you can go about a thousand miles in this airplane. Now you have a lower ceiling with the Lancer Evolution. Your maximum altitude is 25,000 feet. What you get in this aircraft is not the luxury of cabin space. Rather, you get a capable single pilot aircraft that is also extremely economical when you compare it to any other planes in its class. The Evolution only burns about 45 gallons of fuel per hour, and when you power back, you can reduce that fuel burn to only 25 gallons of fuel per hour. Now, why would you consider an Evolution? Well, for one, it costs about a quarter of what you pay for any of the airplanes listed so far. You can find a fairly used Evolution turbine for less than a million dollars. These airplanes are currently selling between 900,000 and 1.2 million dollars. And lastly, we're checking out the King Air. Comes with not one, but two turbine engines. Capable, roomy, fast, and more fuel efficient. The King Air is one of the oldest running turboprop airplane. Beechcraft have been creating this bird since the 1970s. And funny enough, they still hold a tremendous value. A King Air 200 can be single pilot operated, and this is why a lot of charter companies use them for their clients. With two turbine engines, expect cruise speeds between 280 and 300 knots. You've got enough room for nine to 10 people and you can fly close to 2,000 miles without stopping. Now your operating costs in the King Air may differ because you're operating two different engines. And when it comes to time for maintenance, that means you have to maintain two different engines. With a maximum payload of over 2,000 pounds, you can fill this thing up and go places. Wall-kept King Air 200s can be found in the market today for about $1.5 to $2.5 million. Now, if you wanted the newest model, which is a 350i, you're looking to spend close to $5 million. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, Please be sure to give a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to Mojo Grip with the notification bell on. Again, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I will catch you on the next video.